is a response to On Being Open-Minded by TOS 100. I agreed with what you said about being open-minded, but you asked about the connection between love and hate. Something along those lines, I think. Now, there are maybe a couple of different reasons for hating, but I would say that, like love, it is a personal kind of thing. You can dislike something that you don't have any kind of personal stake in or personal connection to, but if you outright hate it, there is some kind of personal connection there. Racism, I would say, is hatred because these and other xenophobia based it's because the person who hates feels like maybe they should be more like that other person but they can't handle that to consider if they should maybe be like that person they can't handle that there is someone out there who is different than them because the fact that something exists that is very different from themselves means that maybe they aren't entirely correct in the way they are and they can't handle pondering that. It's in a way a tr an attempt to get away from responsibility. It's not wondering if you know if they should be doing something different from the way they are. And another is someone that you otherwise love. I would say that in every relationship there is a certain balance between love and hate. I know that isn't something a lot of people like to hear, but I do think that it is true. However, sometimes the hatred is incredibly minimal and it might never even really show up, but I think anyone who's been in a, in a relationship that's only turned bad can attest to it turned really bad. It got ugly. It was more than like that guy you vaguely know that you sort of don't like from work or whatever. You know, when it's personal, it's stronger, you know, suddenly at some point the love stops you know, censoring out the negative feelings or you know, minimizing them you know, at some point that stops being as effective and then all that passion that you love them with maybe it doesn't all you know, it doesn't maybe maybe not become hatred, but it for a time turns partially to hatred. You hate them with part of that passion, and yeah, I that's basically how I see it. That you know there's always a balance between the two and yeah and without the personal connection it won't completely be hatred nor will it completely be not actual love at least so I hope that answered your question and I hope I understood you correctly